Well, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today, I have a knife that I'll be unboxing here. You're probably wondering, you know, <laughs> are you really unboxing it? Because, you know, the, bo <laughs> the box looks open. So this is an interesting story here. So this company, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and say, Vosteed reached out uh, about a week or two ago and they wanted to send me uh, an example of this knife to the channel for me to check out with you guys. Uh, it came via Amazon package package and then I cut through it thinking it was something different but the moment that I saw what it was I immediately put it back in the box you'll see that it's sealed and that I haven't looked at it yet so I just did an unboxing on the Vosteed RS Chaos this beautiful knife right here as a collaboration with RS Knife Works I've just been loving this knife and uh, yeah let's see what's in this package and we'll do some size comparisons and things like that but yeah this this RS Chaos right here has been a blast to EDC check out the unboxing video on this guy if you haven't already but since the box is already open uh, let's just go ahead and take out the contents from in here all right so we have a seal box with a bus deed logo and the shipping details paper and that's about it let's see what we're dealing with here <laughs> let me give you guys a little hint right there that is the boss deed raccoon Raccoon, Raccoon CB, Satin Blade 14C28N with black micarta handle. And uh, if you know, you know, right? If you know, you know, the Raccoon is just such a popular model from Vosteed. We're gonna go ahead and be checking this one out. Uh, this one is the crossbar lock, which I'm happy. I have been hearing some things about their button lock version and things like that. But we're not going to get into that in this video. We're just going to go ahead and unboxing, unbox it and share some first impressions with you guys. So right out of the box here, the box looks very nice. You know, the logo printed right there. They got the horse going on there with the five stars. And yeah, very iPhone unboxing sort of like experience here. So let's get this out of the way here. We have Vosteed.com. Stay sharp, stay wild warranty information. 30-day money-back guarantee. Bada beam, bada boom. We got the Vosteed knife knife ha Vosteed horse logo here embroidered uh, with some nice velcro all right so that's nice and ready to go on your EDC pouch or bag they have the Vosteed support card right there we got all kinds of things we got the dead or alive wanted Vosteed raccoon where the cash reward man that's a lot of money <laughs> oh man that's that's I could use that money right now it's funny how they put the dollar sign way at the end there so that being said oh look at this they put some additional extra omega spring so you know how everyone is always hating on crossbar locks because you know the first thing that's going to happen as soon as you take it out of the box is those omega springs are going to give out on you and blah 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 you know this and that but honestly you know check out Vosti they're doing the right thing they're including additional Omega Springs so if and when eventually if it were to happen because I'll tell you what up until this point I have experienced so many different crossbar locks and none have given out on me so I, I, maybe <laughs> maybe it will one day maybe it won't but you know at least I got some backup uh, Omega Springs here ready to go so that's awesome they included that as well that's great there's the Vosti wiping cloth boom and uh, last but not least we have the knife right here boom boom check that out but right, keep in mind there's going to be affiliate links for this guy in the description so if you're interested in checking this guy out or any knife in this video you can certainly do that without further ado boom here it is oh very very light already making good impression of course i'm coming from the you know rs chaos vosteed so this one's on titanium bigger knife you know a little bit of uh, more weight to it obviously the raccoon so many people have been telling me for the longest like hey that is the bench made uh beater right there the crossbar affordable king crossbar knife right there and i've checked out quite a few so far that kershaw iridium is pretty solid but today Today we're focusing on this guy so black micarta going on again pretty light crossbar lock we got the thumb studs going on on both sides i'm a black on satin type of person or a very monochrome a titanium kind of knife type of person so this one was a safe bet for me thank you boss steed again for sending this in for me to review and share with the community here on youtube that being said the further ado thumb deployment on the boss steed raccoon well, bam, check that out, okay? Let's get the, you know, ooh, the closing. All right, that feels really good. Ooh, okay, gotta, ooh, yes, ooh, yes. Well, that feels really good. Okay, once you get it figured out, yep, it works very, very well. 
do the slow opening, the reverse flick. Of course, I'm a little, there it is. Still haven't broken it in yet, but bam, you can reverse flick this thing all day. Got the thumb studs going on on both sides. It's just interesting. Uh, I'm seeing company, companies these days putting thumb studs only on one side and not both. For whatever reason, they call it the reversible thumb stud. No, bro, just, just put a thumb stud on either end. Like people don't want to have to unscrew one thumb stud to then put it on the other side because they want to reverse flick instead of thumb stud. No, like this has been the standard in the industry forever. If you're going to do a thumb stud knife, I mean, check out the Ontario Wrap Model 1 or 2, you know, the Demco knives or what have you if you're gonna do thumb studs just do them on both sides don't do the whole reversible thumb stud nonsense by putting a thumb stud only on one side hopefully that trend doesn't take off because that, that would really be a pet peeve of mine but aside from that you know like the action already so far on this thing feels pretty good i mean you guys if you've been in the knife world for any amount of time here you've probably heard of the vosteed raccoon already by now and if you haven't like uh you know <laughs> you need to come out of that rock that you're living under or perhaps it's just getting started so you know that's totally fair but that being said i mean the action here is pretty good the deployment right there is nice what are we dealing with steel wise we have a satin finish uh flat grind going on on this bat boy again 14 c 28 n on the raccoon we have the mike carter right they've done the mike carter right because it's again light but also grippy reversible pocket clip this is nice nice and recess pocket clip the screws are recessed as well you have the nice milled in the recess portion on the other end with the corresponding screws as well on the other side this thing is looking really good similar hardware so check out the pivot hardware right here it looks very you know very much like the one on the rs chaos so that must be a signature thing for vosteed knives that i'm just barely getting used to of course because i these are my two vosteed knives so far right one that i i purchased the rs knife works as a birthday present to myself for all the hard work that i've put in this year and again as a you know really grateful for all of your support that you guys have done all this year so check out the unboxing for this one i talk a little bit more about that my birthday is in december we're already in December, so it's a couple of days away, and I wanted to treat myself. And then, coincidentally, Vasti reached out on IG and said, Hey, you know, we'll, we'll send you a raccoon for you to check it out in the channel. And I said, Absolutely, send it right over, and I'll be happy to take a look. So, uh, that being said, ergonomics, right? You have the little, I called <laughs> index finger cutout, you know, kind of like a, like a fender going on. You want to use car analogies these days. I'm a car enthusiast too, so you, you know, you'll see me using some car analogies sometimes. Index finger, every other finger there follows suit i have a medium hands not the biggest not the smallest and you still have a good amount of handle right there and you could forward choke on this guy all day every day boom right here put the pressure on the micarta section and you can go to town with that uh, with those you know with those cuts right there it is going to be a slicer i can tell already pretty thin blade overall even on the thickest part and it is a flat grind so yeah check this out too the plunge grind ends about right here where my nail hit it's the blade and you have all this much blade here to sharpen without getting a smile that's the right way to do it so other knife companies should be taking note of that now i am going to be using this knife so let me just wipe off the excess grease or oil that they put on it to obviously keep it preserved and all that out of the box because i just don't like you guys seeing all that there we go we'll just get uh get a nice little wipe right here a little bit of something going on there there we go it's nice and clean right now still not sure what that is maybe i'll i'll get that wiped off completely later but yeah uh let's see blade is nice and rock solid no up and down play side to side play all right that feels pretty good and uh, yeah very drop shotty all right so unless you activate that crossbar lock feels pretty good all right, you got some milling going on on the inside. And I tell you, did I mention this was a very light knife? Because it really, truly is a very, very light knife. And yeah, it was uh, quite the de departure right there from the RS Chaos. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do, got some fingerprints right there. All right, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons, shall we? Here it is next to the bigger brother, the RS Chaos which just warps it in size. All right, those are two Vosteeds right there. Let's go ahead and bring in, what other knife can we toss in here? Here's another knife that I'm currently EDC quite a bit, and that is the Demco Shark Cub right here, 8020.5 Shark Cub in aluminum. This one's also very, very light. I did an unboxing on this bad boy. The review is coming very soon. 
Uh, let's do some of the typical ones that we always do here in the channel. The PM2, right? It's going to be a little bit shorter than the PM2. How does it stack up next to the pair three? Actually, a little bit bigger than the pair three. That's pretty nice right there. Uh, let's get a Demco out here. The Shark's Foot 8020.5. That's the full version right there. It's a little bit bigger than that. And it's probably going to be bigger than the Clip Point version. And the final decision is, yeah, just by here, a little bit bigger than the Clip Point version there. And last but not least, let's do the Rap Model 1, which is going to be, <laughs> this, one's, this one's actually very comparable to the RS Chaos that we just looked at. And here is the wrap model too. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be yeah somewhere in the middle of those two. Probably it's hard to judge. Probably closer to the two more than the one, but definitely somewhere between those two models right there. But yeah, so some quick size comparisons to give you an idea. Of course, this is not a full comprehensive review. That review is gonna be coming up in about two weeks. I just took this thing out of the box. You guys saw me take it out of the box. So if you are watching videos on YouTube from a knife reviewer and they just review the knife out of the box, I don't know how they're getting their information or what have you, but me personally, I need to be able to EDC the knife for a good amount of time, at least two weeks or so, a week or two, get a good feel for it, right? And then come back to you guys with a full comprehensive review i'll tell you what we will do we will be doing a quick paper cutting test we know this thing is going to cut out of the box no doubt about that but just for the sake of science it's nice and nice by the edge right there and boom <laughs> did i mention this thing was a slicer because uh it is a slicer that is boom that is definitely going to whoop i guess it cut right there that's more user error than anything Boom. Bam. So yeah, you have a, a drop point uh, going on right here. So it's definitely gonna slice. You have a good, like almost three inches of cutting edge right there. Can it do cardboard? Or oh, absolutely it can. So uh, remember when cutting cardboard, don't cut perpendicular like that, but at an angle. And let's see how it does. Wow, there it is. Uh, you guys take a look there for yourself. Yeah, that 14C28N steel, such an underrated steel, right? Uh, Knife Nerds, they did an extensive article about why that video, why this steel is so, so good. And uh, ever since, everybody has been taking it a little bit more serious. Very common on the budget end of things, a little bit more capable. Uh, in my opinion, I prefer 14C28N over D2. And I'm glad that this uh, is a steel on this uh, raccoon here from Bastide. And yeah, clearly it can, it can do some damage. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Very ambidextrous knife, if I haven't already mentioned that, right? Here I am operating it with my very untrained left hand here. And yeah, this is a very, very ideal. All crossbar locks for the most part, right? They're very ambidextrous friendly. So for lefties out there, all right, this one has you in mind. The pocket clip being reversible, that complements it 100%. So yeah, talk about an ambidextrous mechanism here that is good for both lefties and righties alike. And yeah, I don't have the most training going on on my left hand and I'm still getting it done. So that, that should tell you how easy it is for this thing to work with both right and left hand. Whatever your dominant hand is, you can you can work with the crossbar lock with the raccoon here for sure. Well, there it is, guys. There is the Vostid Raccoon. A quick unboxing and first impressions on this bad boy. I gotta tell you, like the action on this thing, it feels pretty good out of the box. It's nice and comfortable, even when bearing down on it. It's nice and jimp right here. The alignment is pretty good too. Take a look right there, you guys be the judge. And uh, yeah, we got even a matching backspacer going on as well in black. The pocket clip is, is nice and comfortable too when you are, uh, you know, getting a good solid grip bearing down on it. So yeah, there you guys have it. Let me know in the comments what sort of questions you have about this knife, what sort of topics you want me to discuss during the review video. Again, I'm gonna EDC this knife for the next two weeks 
come back to you guys with a comprehensive review on this bad boy here very very soon so stay tuned for that if you haven't already hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content knife and edc gear that i'll be uh, discussing here sharing with you guys in the channel smash that like button if you haven't already because it doesn't cost you guys anything and it does help out the channel reach a larger audience i'll really be grateful for that if you guys can help me out with that check out the unboxing on the rs chaos because this thing is just savage savage knife right here been loving it it's uh, one of my favorite knives already and uh, i've just been having a blast carrying edc in this knife uh, a lot so check it out the review for this knife is also coming up here very very soon as always if you guys made it to the very end you guys are the real mvps thank you so much for hanging out with me and i'll see you on the next one peace